Light is fundamental to CCTV. No light, no picture. System performance relies on the level, quality and distribution of light. Sources of light can be natural, such as sunlight, or artificially created. The unit we use to measure the amount of light that falls in a given area is called lux. The more light that falls on a scene, the brighter the scene, the more lux. The illumination of a scene is important. If there's not enough, the image will often be too dark to show anything helpful. But too much illumination in the wrong places can also mean that there's no usable picture. Another critical factor to consider is how much light the subject will reflect, because the camera only sees the light that's reflected. It's important to ensure uniform levels of illumination, otherwise dark spots may be created where people and their activities can go undetected. The main types of lighting used for CCTV are metal halide, low and high pressure sodium, fluorescent, incandescent and both white and infrared LEDs. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages. Creating the right type of illumination can make a huge difference to the quality of information that observers gain from an image. Take this car park for instance. When it's well lit, the criminal activity is clearly seen. But in poor lighting, it's all but impossible to detect. The type of light falling on a scene can also have a big impact on the way colours are perceived. Looking at this picture, it's clear that the man's sweater is red. But if the scene's lit with sodium lamps, the colour appears completely different. To recap, when you're producing an operational requirement, there are a number of factors concerning illumination that you need to bear in mind. The light level required, the reflectance of the intended subject, the uniformity of the light across the scene, the colour requirements and the potential impact of light sources that are not under your control. The fundamental questions you have to ask yourself are, can my observers accurately determine the activity that the image shows? And can they correctly identify colours if required? <laughs>